Hello viewers, this is Shomen from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Let us enrich our knowledge with some theoretical contents about the project quality management, how it is being developed, what is the idea or resources behind it. Now, uh, before going to the quality management principles and everything, let us discuss some, some basic requirement. In a standard, anything even not ISO 9001, any international or national standards, any shell word indicates a requirement, mandatory requirement, should is a recommendation, may indicates a permission and can indicates a possibility or a capability. And any information marks at note is a guidance in understanding and clarifying the associated requirement. From ISO, uh, we can find the quality management principles which are customer focus of course whatever you are doing in an organization it will have no value until and unless customer recognized it customer is satisfied so customer focus is most important for all the organizations so customer focus leadership engagement of people process approach improvement evidence based decision making and relationship management. These are the main seven quality management principles we can find in ISO 9001. Quality management system when being developed for an organization then the requirement comes for preparing a PQP or project quality plan. So project quality plan is basically based on the ISO 9010 clauses. A project quality plan which is the base or pillar of a quality management system of a company it always fulfill all the requirements of 10 clauses of ISO 9001 you can see here a sample index from a project quality plan from a one organizations section 1 here in the PQP is purpose and scope 2 is normatic references 3 is terms and definition contents of organization section 4 so i am not going reading everything for you so you can see it is the it is similar to iso 9001 contents basically a project quality plan not only contains the plan it is also accompanied with a lot of attachments so the first one is project quality plan the document itself then it can be associated with quality procedures like welding, lowering, lot of special process procedure, concrete, finishing of concrete, repair methods, a lot of things. Method statement. Method statement cannot be directly associated with project quality plan, but uh, method statement is always assisting construction to do a job specifically inspection and test plans, contract documents, appropriate drawings, project specifications, standard forms and checklists, document of external origin that means installation operation manual from the subcontractor or supplier, subcontractor's quality document, standard etc. So PQP itself is a document which is accompanied with this type of attachments whatever applicable. Uh, some some of the terms and definitions and uh, abbreviations which are being discussed in a project quality plan. These are by the way all reflection of ISO 9001 and their terminologies. So correction is action to eliminate a detected non-conformity can be a rework or regret. Corrective action is the action done after identification of the root cause of the problem to properly correct and avoid future recurrence, action taken to eliminate the causes of an existing non-conformity, defect or other undesirable situation in order to prevent recurrence. Company means our client, company representative means consultant, third party, senior management, document, gap analysis. You can uh, stop the slide and go through this if you like and if you are interested. 
some abbreviations like CCAR means correct, correction and corrective action report, ISO means International Organization of Standardization, ITP means inspection and test plan, RFI means request for inspection, QMS means quality management system, etc. Quality policy and quality objectives. So, quality policy and objectives are little bit different. Why? Quality policy is a general policy for the organization which they imply on their business overall. Here is an example of a quality policy. We bring the energy to the destination. It is an excellent quality policy I have ever seen in my life. Now, we, we can discuss little bit some of the example of quality objectives of a project. Objectives are generally measurable. So, there is always um, it is mentioned with some percentage. Let us say engineering and document control department, they can uh, have the objectives like overall 90 percent approval rating for all shop drawings. Project management, they have an objective of complete the project on time without penalty or delay and achieve contractual milestone on schedule at each stage of the project. Project planning, they can have an objective like on schedule percentage maximum more than equal to 85 percent. Off schedule job value must not vary more than 15 percent. So, this way all the department can have their organization to make a specific target. And then if we are going below that target, then we have to be careful and take action. So, this objective helps a company to achieve their project target or completion date with these measurable values. So, let us say uh, RFI acceptance rate should be more than 95 percent. This is our target. So, when it is going below 95 percent, the concern department, the quality control inspectors or supervisors or manager take appropriate action uh, to find the root cause why RFI is getting rejected. So, this type of things, um, well rejection rate for a um, construction company like pipeline company, their well rejection rate is the most highlighted criteria for the project. So, when it goes well within the limit, uh, then you can understand the company is doing pretty well. So, here are more objectives you can stop the slide and go through if you have some interest. Now, construction procedure and activities uh, which are, are which generally accompanied with uh, project quality plan. It can be surveying work civil structural work which is site preparation, excavation work, backfilling, leveling, grading, electrical work like athletic protection, communication system, IP telephone, mobile radio, data networking, fiber, optic works, instrumentation work, mechanical work, welding, stringing, testing and commissioning and all the supporting activities mentioned in the contract which is not mentioned here. So guys, this is the end of our video. If you like the way of my teaching, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. And also, please share my channel to your friends and known. Signing off, Showman. Thank you.